Hi everyone! Happy Saturday! It's been a while. It's Dr. Jenny Yusuf here, physical therapist, a doctor of physical therapy, um, CEO and founder of Physiogen PT and Wellness, and also a creator of Balance and Fall Support Group. So I'm here right now. Um, it's been, I believe, two to three weeks that I wasn't able to educate and do an FB live with you all. And honestly, hi Jean! Good afternoon! Um, honestly, um, I was very sick also. That's why this um, situations right now that we are in and these are really a serious matter. But my point here is that everybody, all of us are already aware, lots of education, social media, my appeal for everybody. If you have a knowledge or want to post something or information, please, social media is very, very powerful. Be responsible enough and try to read more on a legit website. So like World Health Organization, on the CDC. So we don't want to make too much panic for everybody, especially our older adults, our caregivers, and everything, okay? Hi, Ate Lorenza. Good afternoon. She's in Florida. All right. So um, for everybody who's not familiar with me, I'm Dr. Chen Yusuf. I'm here in Delaware, and I have a telehealth and mobile physical therapy. So as a healthcare professional, I am one of the frontliners, and I am really um, exposed to these things. So uh, it's my responsibility to give some basic knowledge and also... Um, some ideas of of this kinds of virus that we have I'm, uh, I'm aware that majority of you are having knowledge already but what are the symptoms of coronavirus so according to cdc world health organization and the web md they they, they made a summer summary just for us to understand the basic so um the CDC symptoms of COVID nineteen. So COVID means um coronavirus disease, and nineteen is because it was discovered in the late twenty nineteen, just last twenty nineteen December, and it's in Wuhan, China. So um right now it's very new. And um, the symptoms that we have that we can have and we can check is the fever, cough, and shortness of breathing. So these are some of the symptoms and a recent study from the World Health Organization. They can add up some fatigue, bone, and joint pain. So um, these are some of the basic idea and knowledge. So this doesn't give you um, to say that if you see somebody having those things, they, it can be a normal flu. And this is a new virus. So when we have the flu before, um and it's almost like a pandemic also in 1800s before so it can happen but we, this is a new virus and these are that's why they're trying to do some some trying to do some knowledge of the vaccines and that and now luckily we have a good news there are some more t test kits that they're able to do and so they're able to test more people to prevent this and then they are able to go into treat. So there's no um, things that we need to important to remember right now is well, how can we react? And we need to be knowledgeable by understanding what are the symptoms and how can we prevent this kind of things to affect the other people so we are these are only three th words that we need to remember wash your hands all right so washing our hands is very important i'm just thinking um there's something good things happened in this pandemic that happens because not I was really aware that not everybody are exposed or knowledgeable that it's very important to wash your hands. So now they're giving some education, some information, the proper hand washing. And it should be for 20 seconds. And it should be with wash and soap. So when we wash our hands, you wash like this and then you wash your digits, your nails. So that's very important. So wash for 20 seconds. If the 
water and soap is not available, you can use a hand sanitizer. Hand sanitizer are at least 60% alcohol. So I feel, um, I just feel bad because we can see here in social media in the report about the panic buying. And I really want to appeal to everybody who's doing hoarding. Um, it's really, you need to check your neighbors as well, you know. Um, you need to, I also want that the marketing, the business, um, that they need to have this limit whenever they want to sell this. It should be limited to specific, um, person or individual. You need to be more responsible enough. Don't only think of yourself and you need to think of your neighbors. I feel bad. I have a client and he is very sick. And the wife unable to look for hand sanitizer for the family, you know. And these are the people that really need it. I have another colleague that his, um, he has a twins and also in really need of this hand sanitizers. And on another thing is about the mask. So we need to educate ourselves. Do we really need to wear mask at all times? If you are healthy, do you need to wear the mask? So you need to know. So the mask, we need to save it for our healthcare uh, professionals who are the frontliners. So the, um, as we know, the coronavirus is a droplet precautions. So if you are healthy enough and you don't mix with people without the coronavirus, so you don't really need to wear mask yourself, okay? So you wear the mask if you are a healthcare individual that is having to is responsible for treating these clients and it's not only an ordinary mask that we use it is an n95 respirator they have a normal ppe and then the the mask that we can see outside if you feel that you are at risk you are the sick person you are the one going to wear the mask and so to prevent the droplet to be exposed so it's a droplet precaution precaution so avoid close contact with people you, if you know you are sick you need to be stay at home and we need to be monitor on the social distance so social distance is that when you are trying to go out so try to monitor six feet and also try to now we're not doing high fives and then handshakes so we just be cautious a little bit and when you cough and sneeze you need to cough on your elbow and then use a tissue if ever you need to sneeze and throw it in the garbage this is proper hygiene and this is not should be not something new we need to do it this since before coronavirus flu or not here in Delaware we have more flu and then we that's why my advice is that that's what I have in the last three weeks I have a flu and honestly we don't know where is it is it exposed and then we always need to be exposed in everything and we have more than like 26 billion um uh, with the uh, World Health Organization of the flu and these are exposed so we just need to be careful and be mindful of our so as a healthcare professional it can happen I have a flu vaccine and still happen so um, we just need to be mindful and also when we have these things that's why we stay at home when we're sick cover your cough and your sneeze and also the virus stays in some objects so we need to wipe it and clean it as well so we as a healthcare professional we just educate as well and also we try to just inform the people please don't panic buying um I'm, i don't understand really with this toilet pa uh, papers that we're exposing um seeing here so try to install a bidet in your home wash with soap wash with water and then Try to be more, uh, more on, what do you call that? Like vigilant, but alert on your environment. But try not to be hoarding or panic, because when you keep watching in this news feed, and if you feel that it is not helping you, you're becoming more stressed. It's really important for your immune system to be more on the re relaxed mode. So if you're watching irrelevant news and then it just makes you more stressful. And 
your cortisol levels are being up and then it's a stress hormone so instead you are relaxed so you're more your immune system is becoming more at risk so you need to just focus on your normal routine just use your normal um, be more positive don't think of too much things happening right now and um, be more knowledgeable and be um, cautious enough so that we're more aware of these things hi guys hi Rohina, george maria and ate glenda hi tita dory may ninang so we have webmd we have Mayo clinic we have world health organization and the cdc so remember we just need to wash our hands 20 seconds use hand sanitizer alcohols of at least 60 percent when you sneeze check how you sneeze check your elbows and be cautious enough when you sneeze using your hands accidentally and try not to um, touch your face that's what they keep saying because the mucus the eyes the nose and the mouth because your hands are always dirty so if you keep hand hand washing so that prevents also those things all right to happen so six feet social distancing you can still go outside go to the park and then some of them you can play other um things but it is not on the crowd on the crowd people so if you feel that you are have an immune system that is so weak so try to stay at home and my as a healthcare professionals the age uh, the elders are more affected in this kinds of new um of the virus that we have so please respect if there will be a protocol in the nursing home if they have this kinds of situation we'll just respect it for the meantime they are trying to um prevent um more virus and also because the elders have so lots of low immune system especially people who have some issues in their lungs because they have very immune system and easy to get these kinds of virus so we'll try to respect their protocols and follow the orders in your area and my appeal here don't panic don't hoard and then respect your neighbors and also proper hand washing okay so thank you so much guys and then if you have any question on concern please be responsible enough to post some of the social network or social media coming from the w um who or world health organization cdc and be cautious enough and to your neighbors okay don't hoard don't get masks if not needed don't use masks if not needed hand sanitizers limit your toilets limit um toiletries and also check so the other people who are really in need can use it okay so what we learn from here that these are not new we need to do this since before and um wrong messages delivers and give others people this will pass through um we just need to be careful on what we're doing right now okay and thank you so much so it's me again dr jenny um physical therapist i will post some of the summaries here later and this will be from mayo clinic cdc's and w a world health organization and please be observant learn more knowledge and um just relax okay don't stress yourself love you all and thank you dr jenny yusuf once again your physical therapist and if you are having issues and we have some other clients not going to their clinics and we have a telehealth options so check in your state who are the physical therapists offering the telehealth so here in delaware i'm offering telehealth so are having in balance and false support group we have many physic um physical therapists offering telehealth options in their um specific states if you have any question check out in balance and false support group message me connect with me and learn and we can hi ray how are you and we can connect you to our specific therapist offering telehealth in their area all right so um learn more for our physical therapists who have some issues in their private 
um, clinics. So I think this is the time to use the telehealth. And we have many mentors here in the group. We have Rob Vining. We have Juan Martin. We have Ashe Gumadi. Shout out to everyone. I hope I don't forget somebody. And Mark Milligan. We, they have all different platforms. And Ray, thank you so much for these hearts and likes. Pre really appreciate that. And then um, we need to connect with them. Post here. If you want those telehealth, we can connect. And we can deliver these messages through telehealth um, options. All right. So thank you so much, guys. And then love you all. And welcome to be back again. All right. Take care. And God bless. All right. Yep, Ray. I agree. Super agree. So the other colleagues here can post. If they really are interested, we can connect them with the different uh, mentors that we have. Right, we have everybody now posting about this, and we need to help each other. We are licensed in different state. If the people watching here, you're in a specific state, so we can connect you with our clinicians in the Bounce and Fall Support Group. All right, connect with me, email me, message me in this, and then I'll help you all. All right, as much as I can. Thank you. Bye for now, guys. Love you all.